The decision to launch out of Wallops occurred before I joined the company in, in 2008. Um, in hindsight, it was a very good decision because um, of two things. One, it provided an additional uh, launch capability on the East Coast outside of, of the uh, Kennedy Space Center in Cape Canaveral. Um, I think it's good to have some redundancy in that regard for key national assets that need to get into space. It also basically upped the game on the eastern shore. Uh, Wallops became a uh, launch site for vehicles going not just into suborbit um, or launching on balloons, but, but also going into orbit and in beyond. I mean, there was shortly before we started our uh, Antares launches, there was a launch that went to the moon. And uh, that made Wallops a real spaceport. And uh, it also increased not only the economic situation on the eastern shore, but it also increased the interest in the schools, the, the colleges in the area, the students, the interns that were coming there in getting into STEM. You know, science, technology, engineering, math is a key part of the success of this country, uh, particularly in space and defense. And uh, inspiring the next generation to get into those fields requires generally something very visible and something concrete that they can actually look at and participate in that says, yeah, I, I can do this. Even though the math is hard, I can do this, and I like doing this. And we exposed a whole new generation in that part of the, of the state, uh, actually the whole peninsula, Delaware, Maryland, and Virginia, to the excitement of spaceflight uh, in ways they had not been exposed to before. And now there's very vibrant programs going on including the community and what's going on and the support that we've seen there and the ability, the willingness to make changes there just so we could move our spacecraft to main base wallops out to the island. They went through a lot of headaches of moving wires so that we could actually move it down there and changing stoplights and stuff. And, and just to show you the connection they had to it, when we did our first move, they had, it, it happened at like two in the morning. There were people out there in their lawn chairs to watch this happen because they'd seen all the changes that had occurred on the on the highway and they wanted to see what was causing all that. And seeing a, 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 a transporter with the orbital symbol and the NASA symbol on it said, yeah, we are a part of, of what's happening in space now. And I think it made a big difference. Um, but not just that aspect of it, which is local, but I think having uh, other people in the country see that we could take basically a bare pad and with investment from the Commonwealth of Virginia, uh, from the U.S. government, and from Orbital ATK, we were able to turn that into a, a very vibrant and very capable launch pad. I will say, when you decide you're going to do something like that from a green field, add a lot of reserve to what you think you're going to have to spend and, and what schedule it's going to take, because these things are almost always harder than the people selling them say they're going to be. And um, I think there were some very interesting concepts that people thought of that would be very cheap in terms of, you know, fueling from a truck and then driving it away. Well, we have tanks and we have cross-country piping and we have electronic control systems and a lot that make this a first-class launch, launch pad, but that became expensive. And the key there is don't give up. You've got to keep it going once you commit to that or you're going to not only disappoint a lot of people, you're not going to get the capability you need to support something like the International Space Station. You know, science, technology, engineering, math is a key part of the success of this country, uh, particularly in space and defense, and uh, inspiring the next generation to get into those fields requires generally something very visible and something concrete that they can actually look at and participate in that says, yeah, I, I can do this. Even though the math is hard, I can do this, and I like doing this. And we exposed a whole new generation in that part of the, of the state, uh, actually the whole peninsula, Delaware, Maryland, and Virginia, to the excitement of spaceflight uh, in ways they had not been exposed to before. I've mentioned the effect of um, flying space missions out of Wallops and the effect it has on the local community there, the inspiration in STEM for the students in the area. In fact, across the whole state of states of Virginia and Maryland, I'm seeing the effects of that. But in, um, in fact, as I travel around the country and interact with other organizations that are trying to inspire students to be more involved in STEM education and to develop their own uh, talents, uh, a lot of them are using 
our cargo resupply service, both uh, Orbital ATK and SpaceX, as inspiration to get kids really involved in a project. And there are schools and there are people who are running nonprofits who are doing uh, space camp type activities. There's space camp itself in Huntsville, um, where the kids develop um, uh, experiments uh, either for robotics or for experiments to fly on the space station, who actually get a chance the, the selected ones to fly on a Cygnus or a Dragon to go to the space station so that they can in fact execute their experiment in space. The excitement that you see on the kids' faces when they're selected is just beyond belief. And you don't realize how when a kid gets excited about space and they realize they might have a chance to fly something of their own up there that an astronaut's going to touch and turn on and, and activate and send them pictures of, that hooks them for life. And, and just watching that happen in several different venues that I've been a part of over the last couple of years, and then having the kids say, and I'm going to fly on your Cygnus and I'm coming to the launch, I mean, that just ties it all together and, and makes it all worthwhile.